Hey, good morning. Nikki Haley. Come here real quick. Let's have a conversation. Now, I left you alone yesterday because I knew you was going to be on Saturday Night Live and I thought you would get an opportunity to clear the air. But you didn't. It appears as though Lauren Michaels has lost confidence in his writers and is now using controversy to bring in views, which is why he had you on. Because you gaslit the nation by saying America is not and has never been a racist country. Well, if America has never been a racist country, why did it commit genocide against the people of the Philippines? Huh? Yeah. America committed genocide against Filipinos. I'm gonna need some help with this one. Hey, Chris! Come on in here and tell them about it. Many don't know that the United States committed genocide when the country invaded the Philippines in 1899. Filipinos resisted this invasion. One town fought back after U.S. soldiers sexually assaulted a young woman. The town rang its church bells to signal the surprise attack. The U.S. defeat shocked the American public and news spread all across the U.S. The U.S. took revenge. Troops were instructed to kill everyone over 10 years old. Pause to read the orders from one general. The U.S. continued a scorched earth policy until 1902, leading to over 250,000 Filipino casualties. Survivors were given identification papers and forced into concentration camps. The U.S. did not give the Philippines its freedom until after World War II. During the genocide, the U.S. took the bells used to signal the attack back to the U.S. as trophies. The U.S. just gave them back in 2018. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate you. Now, that was in 1902. That same year, 50 white men chased the entire black population out of Decatur, Indiana. That couldn't have happened if America wasn't racist and okay with oppressing, beating, brutalizing, and killing black people. The following year, in 1903, 500 white men opened fire on black people, killing, beating, maiming and mutilating them until they chased the entire population out of Sour Springs, Texas. But that's what they did to my people. In 1907, they started targeting people who looked like your father. It's Washington State in 1907. And roughly 600 white men attacked the homes of about 250 Sikh men, men who look like your father your mother, your brother, your sister, you. These 600 white lumberjacks attacked the homes of 250 Sikh mill workers who were doing nothing more than supporting their families. They attacked them, they beat them, they took their belongings and threw them in the street. Why? Because of the color of their skin and their religion. But according to you, America isn't a racist nation. Now those men belong to the Asiatic Exclusion League, and we all know that whiteness is exclusionary. It only becomes inclusive as it looks for people to exclude, which is exactly what happened with the Asiatic Exclusion League. It started out as the Japanese and Korean Exclusion League, but it's opened its doors. It made itself more wide and broad to encompass all Asians. And their goal was to rid this country of Asians. If America was not and has never been a racist country, why did these leagues form? And now we get to the cognitive dissonance of whiteness. Though newspapers deplored the violence of the mob, they sympathized with the laborers' desire to rid the country of Asians. The Tacoma News wrote that no one possessing the least humanitarian instinct would treat a dog after the fashion the Bellingham mob treated the poor, benighted Hindu. It may just be well to drive him out, but it may have been done kindly, even if firmly. Less publicized riots also occurred in Seattle and Everett, while real estate brokers in Port Angeles publicly pledged not to sell property to Hindus and Negroes, to people who look like me and people who look like you. That couldn't happen if America was not and has never been a racist country. You say that America is not and has never been a racist country and it was founded on the principles that all men are created equal. If that's so, why 14 years later in 1790 did it pass a law stating that only white men can become citizens of this country? Huh? Only white men can become citizens of this country. If America was not and is not and has never been a racist country, why would it pass such a racist law? It's called the Naturalization Act of 1790, 
and the United States Congress was the one who decided that citizenship through naturalization was only reserved for free white people, not people who look like me, not people who look like you, Nikki Haley. If America has never been a racist country, why would it pass such a racist law? A law that stayed on the books until 1952. Don't just take my word for it, read it yourself, I'll wait. Now, because America was and is a racist nation, the first wave of anti-Asian sentiment was aimed at Chinese and Japanese citizens. The second wave of anti-Asian sentiment was towards Koreans. The third wave of anti-Asian sentiment was then aimed at anybody from the continent of Asia, including Indians. People like you, Nikki. And with those waves of anti-Asian sentiment came anti-Asian legislation. And with that legislation came state-sanctioned violence and harassment against Asian people. And in 1917, the United States Congress passed the Bard Zone Act, which prevented people from India, specifically women who were married to Indian immigrants, from immigrating to the country. People like your mother, Nikki. Your mother. In 1917, she would not have been allowed to come to this country to join her husband because of this law. Yet you say America has never been a racist country. During the first two decades of the 1900s, the debate over citizenship affected Sikhs too. So much so that some of y'all started claiming you were white just to gain citizenship to this country. Something you did in 2001 when you claimed that you were white on your voter registration card. The most famous of these was a Sikh named Bhagat Singh Tind, who in 1913 filed for citizenship as a white man in the state of Oregon. Now, Oregon was founded as a whites-only state, so they contested his whiteness. And it went all the way to the Supreme Court, and he brought in expert witnesses that said, yeah, he's from the Caucasus regions, so he's technically a Caucasian. But the courts ruled that, nah, player, not all Caucasians are white. And when the people who wrote these laws wrote them, they didn't have the people of India in mind. They were just talking about white people, so that don't apply to you. And he lost his case. And from that moment, all six in this country were no longer considered citizens, and they could not afford to purchase land in this country. But America's never been racist, though. Never been racist. But Bhagat Singh Tin's case was indeed about his race and not his religion. Even though he immigrated to this country, married a white person, had mixed race babies, and claimed that he was white on government forms, he was still discriminated against because of the systemic racism of this country. You, Nikki Haley, know this feeling all too well. You were born here, and you were still discriminated against. You grew up, married a white person, had mixed race babies, claimed that you were white on government forms, and you were still discriminated against. Yet you continue to fight for the side of whiteness. You continue to fight on the side of the oppressor. It's no wonder you said. America is not a racist country. Because admitting that America is indeed a racist country is acknowledging that you're fighting on the wrong side of history. As the daughter of a history professor, you should know better. But base man, you say, that happened so long ago, that's not happening today. Well, here's what the FBI had to say about all that. Pause to read. Here's what happened in 2015 during the lead up to the election of Donald Trump. Pause to read. Here's what happened in 2022. Pause to read. The systemic racism in this country isn't something that happened. It's still happening. And if America is no longer a racist country, what year did it stop? Huh? What year did America stop being a racist country? Give me the decade, the year, the month, the day. When did America stop being a racist country? Can't wait to hear what you got to say.